Greetings, sir and sirettes, and welcome back to Kingdoms and Castles with me, Alathrix, and of course, welcome back to the Holy Dice Kingdom. So in today's video, I think we should focus on finalizing what we already have, so making everything we have now the final form, as you can probably tell by the word finalizing. Either way, I want all of this finished, so I want, I want the walls higher, I want extra archer towers, so we have a mix of the ballista and the archer towers. I want this farm finally sorted out. I want more houses. I want all of these annoying rocks finally gone. There's quite a few things we really need to change before we get expanding. First of all, taking the extra food tiles over here, but then also making ourselves some little mini colonies, perhaps giving us some more stone or something like that. Also, one thing I need to do is lower the taxes. Now, this won't be permanent, so people don't be too happy. This is just because I have taken so much of your gold, I literally can't store anymore. So, you all get to go down to only level 1 taxes. Now, actually, the money will be really good with the rock removal, which is 30 gold apiece, and we're going to do uh, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight sets of that, so yeah. Also, I've been looking at this, and what I think is that I may need to actually store some of this to sell it. Now, how do I actually do that is the question. Click to lock this resource for export by ship only. No workers will take from the desired amount when locked. So, I guess it's just changing the desired. So what do I want to sell then? What do I have in excess? Well, tools. Honestly, more than anything, we have way too many tools. Uh, we don't have that much iron, although we could add an extra iron mine if it's worth a lot. I'm just thinking banished logic here, because iron is worth a fortune, and so are tools. And we've got an excess of both, although more so with the tools. So, um, can you lovely people who are currently working here... Go ahead and put 50 tools in here so we can perhaps sell it. I don't know if that's how it works in this game, but I guess we're going to find out. Now, I also want some more charcoal makers. I was going to make three last time and then completely forgot. And then I, I can remove the ones in here, remove this rock, and as you can probably tell, I want this to be another housing district. So we have the bonuses from things like the library, and we're close enough to the hospital, in case everyone gets horrible, horrible plague again. Speaking of plague, well, nothing to do with plague. Farm, farm, farm. Because we're just not using that space right now. The mana has just gone up, so we should be getting new people soon, and our happiness is soaring! Why are you unhappy? Isn't it because you have no people next to you? Yes, it is. You want neighbours. So we need some more wood, which shouldn't be a huge problem. Now we have the foresters out there. Also going to remove these foresters from inside once again because we can put houses down here. So we have more people, so we have more of everything. Because I also want to try out making an army since we have the chamber of war, but we don't have the barracks. So yeah, there's actually a lot of stuff I still really want to test out in this game, which makes me so happy. There we are. That's where I'm going to put the next archer tower, so I'm going to basically make all of these ultimate areas, and then I'll just put down some archer towers wherever I've got some space. Oh, a remnant of a bygone era. Come on everyone, get me the resources. And then I want the archer tower there. Since I imagine the Archer Towers are probably better versus the hordes of enemies, whereas the Ballista are probably better versus the enemy ships, uh, dragons, and stuff like that. Now, I also really want to use the moat, but I don't know where I'm going to put it, because I want to expand in every direction. So, right now, I don't think I've got a place to put it until I expand. I mean, I could just put it down and then have that basically as part of the wall, and have it as a two-wide wall section, but eh, that seems odd to me. What are you warning me of, lads? Good day, sire! Good day, sire! Sire, no one is available for the new construction, I know. They are now, though. There just wasn't. And can I put down the new manor yet? Yes, I can. There we are. Does that instantly get... Yes, instantly makes him think he's got neighbours, even though he doesn't. Sire, no one is... I know no one is available! That looks weird. I don't like how that looks. Oh, that's a thing as well. This only counts as a two or three high wall, whereas this counts as much higher. Eight health, five health. Yeah, the, the middle's way more vulnerable. But on the upside, if the tower doesn't go down... Sorry, if the tower goes down, it doesn't necessarily take the gate with it. But obviously, I'm assuming that if the gate dies, everything dies. 
save the gate, save the world. Could I have put that one higher? You know, I probably could have, couldn't I? Yeah, probably could have. Well, we still can. We still can. It only takes five seconds to delete it. No, that does seem to be just... Yeah, then if it's one higher, then it's higher than those two. Then I'll simply say the same problem, but the opposite way around. That is just how it is. How's our food doing? It looks a bit... Nope, it's good. Yeah, that's all I was going to say. It looks really good. That's, that's all I was going to say. I may add another bakery. Although they're not perfectly placed, they are in between the granary and the charcoal maker. And that's, that's exactly where I want them to be, to be perfectly honest. Also, as you can probably tell, the beeping has stopped in the background because finally... Finally, the sodding smoke alarm has been removed. Because it couldn't get fixed. Seriously, three electricians later and they decide, no, it is just completely broke. It will never be fixed again. And so I've got a huge hole in the wall where it used to be. Because it was one of those, one of those old permanently uh, installed ones. And that was the problem. It wasn't just a matter of remove the battery or change the battery. It was attached to the mains and the battery. And as long as it didn't have the battery... It would keep on beeping, but the battery compartment was broke, so it kept on thinking it didn't have a battery, but it still had the mains power, so it could always beep. And tell me that it didn't have a battery. It's kind of lovely not hearing it. What? Saya, no one is- I know! But look, we have little archer towers with little flags. And we have 96 happiness. My god. You people are joyous. And, and that's with taxes. Huh, go all you guys. Being happy and stuff. There we are, rock removal twice. Should get some new people soon. Now that will probably tax our food quite a bit, hence why I want the bakery soon. Oh, maybe I should have. Uh, maybe I should move this house then. Merchant has arrived. Hello, how do you work? Tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me, tell me. You can sell and buy. Okay, so, so currently on the buy section, you have basically all the regular stuff. That's cool and all. Yeah, I was right. You have to have stuff actually in... Okay, so it's just for gold. That's good. So it's not like a credit system. Don't ask me why. I thought it might be a credit system. I just kind of did. Um, honestly, we don't need any of that right now. Uh, but thank you for your generous offer. If we ever need extra stuff, or we have loads of excess, we can sell it to you. And actually, this acts as storage then. Oh look, we have too much of something. Just shove it into the dock. Excellent. Loving it. Loving this game as well, honestly. I haven't had this much fun just on a more chill type of game in a while. Like since Banish slash, slash Stonehalf when I first started playing them. This is definitely our weak point now, which is funny considering this was originally our strong point. It's also the lowest of the wall sections, which is kind of annoying. But I would rather get the arch tower up first, then we can upgrade it later, raising the walls. Then I want to raise all the other walls so it looks a bit less weird. Oh, we maxed out on people. Oh, hello. Can I just put another mana here? Yes, I can. Excellent. More people. More people to tax. And more people to work. Goodbye, evil rocks. Goodbye, evil rocks. Can someone cut down that tree? Nope, because it's not actually a tree. No, it's already been cut down, that's why. Cool. Hmm, what do I actually want to use this space for, then? Oh, is that fire? Yep, that was a fire. It was hard to tell since it was the charcoal maker. Yeah, should really put a well out here, then, shouldn't I? I mean, there's water right there, but I guess the well is better. Plus, I can't really build much else here anyway, so... I'll just shove it there at the end, and then we can remake our charcoal production. Lovely. Then we can remove those two later. So I guess I could have a cottage here. And that's about it, really. It's a bit of an awkward place because of the blacksmith. I might want to move the blacksmith somewhere else. Could put the blacksmith here and a small stockpile for the mine. Yeah, there's quite a few things I want to just kind of move around. But not too much, otherwise we'll be here all day. And I'm, I, don't, I don't really want to min-max this all that much, honestly, because that, I think, will start killing my enjoyment. But I can put a mansion here once this stone is removed. So, yeah, this forester needs to go. Like, badly. Since that's going to be in the way of everything. Expanding finally out of our walls, because we need some more food soon. At the moment, we're okay for food. Still on plus, but only just. 
and I want to add a new mansion soon, so yeah. We're going to add some more farms out here, and yes, we're still using farms, not orchards, because when you have a windmill in the middle and you have a perfect plot of land like this, it is definitely better to have the windmill and the regular farms, because each of these farms become eight, and per tile for this 3x3 three three space, which is nine tiles, it's more food overall with the windmill and farms over, let's say, if you had a 3x3 three three of only orchard blocks. Although, of course, it doesn't actually fit that well. That's why you might want to use an orchard when it's got an awkward corner or something. But yeah, this is better. And then I want to use the aqueducts and stuff to try and make all these little annoying pieces into fertile blocks. Tiles. Tiles. There we are. Then we really are going to need to change all of this into stone because come harvest time you have nowhere to put that food. So I'm thinking then we might want a granary slash granary here. That's one of those words I always hear people say differently. Yeah, 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 we know, we know. That's because a lot of people are working on building and not the quarries and stuff. Uh, food. You. There. It would be nice to have a baker here. Could have the baker sideways. Yeah, if we move this around, we could have a baker here, a baker here, both of them sideways rather than there. Sorry, um, vertical rather than horizontal. Then we could have a mansion here. That would be perfect. And then on this side, I don't know, maybe some storage for the mine. An extra iron mine, for instance, if we can sell it. There's other stuff we can do. That's going to be a bit of a run. We need to do something about this area later on. But for now, we'll just leave it. We just added a load of extra, extra food production. There we are, minus 19 at the moment. We'll see how we do for this year. Should be okay. Especially once we add the new baker. Industry, double rock removal. Oh, single rock removal. And now an extra one. There we go. Should be okay for food now. Hello. Hmm. Vikings are coming. Okay, hopefully this time we will be better. Uh, regardless which way they attack, we are going to lose something. I'm just hoping they don't get through our walls. Oh, hello, merchant. How you doing, sir? Oh, uh, just some tools. We have loads of them to spare. Enjoy! Just the usual stuff. Do you have any wood for sale, by any chance? No. Uh, you know what? I'll buy your food, though, just in case. Uh, there's Vikings coming, though, sir. You might want to run. Might want to run. Still no ogre. Hmm. And I feel okay about this fight. Why do they never attack? You know what? The best way to attack us would be coming down here or here. At least then you can use your ships. Also, this is definitely one of our weak points. Oh. They listened to us. No, they didn't. No, they didn't. They're scared of us. The cowards. Mm. Yay! Now we have enough food again by loads. Lovely. And then I would like a bakery. Now, I think the baker is just for food increase, isn't it? Because if we go there, plus 40 food from bakeries. Because we're turning one food and one charcoal into... For bread, and I assume the bread is just counted as one food. I mean, I've not like seen a happiness from it. Yeah, I can't see happiness generated from. Oh look, you also have bread. I've never seen that, but I could be wrong. Also, this could be a mansion, so more things to upgrade for space. Oh, yep, yeah, now they're listening to me. That's not good. Well, lesson learned. I need to beef up security on this section for later. Oh dear, they're, invi they're invading absolutely everywhere. Yeah, they're burning the stuff out here, which was expected. They kind of reached the gates, and most of that group is dead. This group's already running away. This is like the last group actually attacking from that first wave. And you've been ballistered to death. Oh, here come the next group, at least this time. Oh, okay, we'll lose some farms here. Wait, did we actually lose anything from that fire? No, we didn't. We lost nothing from that. We will lose these, though, because there isn't a well nearby. And it's too far away from the center. Dra Dragon, bad timing, lad. 
Hmm, maybe some watchtowers still. Still, though, if they can't breach the walls, and they, and they need the ogre to breach the walls, and I'm assuming these are effective against the ogres. Not that I've actually seen that yet, but still. Did you already build that up? Well done, guys. And that group's dead as well. How are you homeless? Did I lose a house? Fire has claimed a farm, farm, farm. That's on fire. Just by the dragon, I guess, maybe? Do we kill the dragon? Oh yeah, we actually killed the dragon, okay. Why do we have one less bed? Is it because of this fire? I don't know what I did, I don't know what's happened. Why have I lost a bed? Well, now I've got more homeless people. In fact, you know what? Destroy that cottage for maximum homeless despair. And I'll build the manor, of course. Can you please get a little bit more wood? Just like a tiny bit more. Thank you. Should check that first, really. But oh well, it is me after all. That's to be expected. There we are. So we repelled the Vikings with very, very minimal consequence. Like, we lost a couple of farms. And... Yep, yeah, that's it. We lost a couple of farms. Peasants recently homeless. Yes, 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 I know they're homeless. We're building them a manor to make up for it, you know? They're getting a good place to live. They should be joyous that they're spending a few months on the street. No, nope, no, that doesn't work. I should be happy that I care enough to build them a manor? Question mark. Just two boats running away after all that. That was fine. That was fine. Four were kidnapped. I guess that's going to be unhappy. Uh, look! There's a festival! Yay! We have two bakeries now as well, which is great. So hopefully next year we'll have even more from the food increase. Oh, minus 10 overall, but there was the whole Viking thing, so I think that's to be expected, really. It would still be best to do this, though, wouldn't it? Because there's no barren locations, that is definitely the most efficient way, because you want as many of these active as possible when they have maximum amount of farms, because for one worker they give way more food than a farm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, well it's 16 isn't it, it's 8 times 2. So that counts as 16 food essentially, so putting that there and then that, that's another 16 food for one tile and you can keep it up. Rather than only one of them per 3x3, three three, you can have it every 3x2, as long as before it had a 3 You get the idea. So the next one we should make, then, is a windmill right there. We need roads for that, so I guess this is how we're going to do it. Just have a road all the way down, because we need to do it later. Um, and we can always remove them as we go. Yes. Hmm. We grow more food than we can store. Improved conditions. Yeah, I know. People were homeless. And we apparently killed the dragon without me realizing. Oh, no, no, I did realize. I even mentioned it. Okay, happiness is very rapidly increasing. Lovely. So what do these guys want, then? I guess another town center is about it. So how are we going to do the walls here? We could just put some granaries here. But then that's a lot of this lovely regular tile I'm using for non-food related thing. Well, food um, storage, but not food production. Also, it kind of looks like the regular Vikings can't even actually damage the gate. So, when I'm being attacked by Vikings at the moment, all I'm really worried about is things outside our gate, which is very little, honestly. A few foresters, a few charcoal makers, a few farms, that's it. But, as we continue this, I do need to add more walls. So I could go all... I could go very extreme and wall up all... Oh, actually, that'd be great. Walling up like this 
then we could have the aqueduct system here still inside that wall. The only problem is... The only problem is... Then we're not walling off here. But I could then use the piers and have piers all the way along here. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. So I'm going to claim a little bit further so we have some, some non-naturally fertile space. Do that, then hydrate the whole area so we have these type of farms. I uh, don't need anything right now. Again, do you have any wood to sell? No, for some reason. Tools, actually, right now, we're not doing amazingly, amazingly for, so I'll leave that. So the walls will be somewhere, like, here. Then we can have some housing and stuff in here as well. Okay, so first then, though, let's figure out how the hydration system works in this game. Oh, we need more gold! Finally! A reason to tax! Oh yeah, I've got so many soldiers now, it's actually minus. Huh. Well, at least people are happy for a while. Back to paying me all your money, though, please. There you are, plus 150 a year now. So I guess two is kind of the... Uh, yeah, on two I'm earning money, on three I'm earning a lot of money. I want lots of money, please. That's a lot of food we're getting. Okay, so this forester can go away. Then, can you all please chop down these trees? I'm going to add a new mansion. And I'm actually tempted to use this as a new well. Oh yeah, and for this, what I'm going to do is destroy this baker and this cottage. We put the baker next to the other baker, then this becomes a mansion instead. The reason why you want mansions over the rest is because they are more space efficient per person. There we are. So one mansion has, where are you, 25 beds, whereas a single hovel only has five. So in a 4x4, four four, that's 20 versus 25. You have 12, so in a 2x2, two two, you have 24, again, making the mansion slightly better. Outside of the taxes, we have just almost pure happiness, so bizarre for that. Okay, so we have this, which provides water to aqueducts and reservoirs. I guess we could have this down here then. Oh, but then how do I protect that? I guess the wall will have to expand to accept this? Sure. We'll find out together. Do I really need a road to that? Not really, because... Wait, do people have to work it? That's the thing, if it's automatic or, it, or if it's worked. So for now, I won't put a road, but we'll find out later. Because you know, I'm so against putting roads down needlessly. <laughs> Hello? Some quarries, yeah, we know, we know. Bet it's those two, yeah. Because it's so far away from everything else. I guess expanding down here wouldn't be terrible. We could have a massive housing district down here, or we could fertilize it and have another farming district, so we have loads and loads and loads and loads and loads of people. And loads, in fact. If we destroy these two, we can have a new cottage. You can become a new iron mine. Just trying to figure out what else we can have in the main area. Oh wow, we are doing well for food. We really are. Okay, that's lovely. That is lovely to see. You two could become a cottage. I kind of like where the library is already though, it's hitting so many different houses. This corner here could become a mansion. Just needs to deal with that storage. That stockpile, I guess we'll just put it out here. We'll lose it during raiding fights at the moment, but it would also be easier on the people moving all that stone. Yes. Yeah, I know about the quarries. We, I was just literally talking about that. In fact, yeah, let's do that. You go away, that forest can go away as well, so this area is no longer constantly being used up. Could just put it there. So that is a that is a stockpile purely for the quarries. Uh, I mean, when we do use food, food, when we do use stone, we do need a lot of it, so yeah, let's do that. And then over here... One more manor. And yes, I know I keep on calling them mansions and then manors, but you know what they are.
we can have a lot more people from this, which is good for me. Uh, any need for that road? Not really, so that can be used for something, like even a cottage can fit there. Cottage can fit there, you can be upgraded into a manor, you can be upgraded into a manor when I have more people ready to work. If Actually, no, we could do it now. Uh, if I have enough wood, which I don't think I do. Yay, we are a bustling city. Huzzah for us. I feel like we need more protection though still. So some more archer towers pretty much everywhere or some more ballistas, honestly. The archer towers just don't seem that powerful. I mean, I get their purpose. They're cheap and they're rapid fire. So against the little grunts which try and attack us, they are good. But the ballista are so much more fun, especially with their long range. Yeah, I need some more wood still. Probably going to add some more foresters, like I was saying before, down here. You know, if I had actually put that road there, probably would have sped up. Hello, okay, oh wow, five workers. So, how does this work then? Let's see. So we have the aqueducts, transports waters for these. These store water and actually do the irrigation. Oh wow, that's long range. If I put that there, that hits almost all of them. Put it there, it hits all of them. No, it does hit all of them, so we want this here. So the aqueducts, do they go over walls or at very least I'm hoping they go over yes they do indeed go over the roads so like that I guess oh can can people still use that road that looks very odd okay yeah but just go straight through it okay never mind they, they can still use the road it just looks weird So I'm hoping that we can also build farms underneath, so we're not losing this tile. Because this is a... By the looks of things, this is going to be most of our food production, this whole area. Because, well, we can put down loads of these. Nine per tile, except for this one, of course, does nothing. Except for give plus two to each of them. Uh, food, reservoir... And that should turn the whole area fertile. Hopefully. Hello. The usual. The usual. Hello, merchant. The usual. The usual. Special item. Special upgrade available. Fine rugs. These rugs will help your feet stay warm as you walk around your keep in the winter. Uh, sure. You're welcome. What did that do? I am very confused about what that actually just did. Ooh, we can put down statues. But what that actually just did. Yeah, I have no idea what that just did. Fine rugs. Um, I have no idea. Just lowering the tax right now. We're definitely get getting enough money, and we are still increasing how many people we have, so don't really see the need to keep on making them so upset. I'm a kind person, time to time. Uh, do need some more foresters, though. That's almost full. Yeah, we need- we also just need more storage. Oh! Didn't even see that being on fire then, honestly, and I was looking right at it. I wish there was more of a warning when there was a fire. Not that we can do much. I mean, look, there's a well right there. I guess the biggest thing which happens with the wells is that it stops it from spreading. Also, the plague just occurred, which is great. Um, go forth, my plague doctors! Oh, let's say go forth. What happened there? I definitely just pressed OK. Either way, go forth, my plague doctors. You get the gist. Just do your thing. Let's not allow any to die, please. They're going to be upset as it is, as homeless people again. Uh, festival! Yay! I know people are upset. Man, I'm just blind when it comes to fires, though. I say, oh, maybe they should make it more obvious. Maybe I should just pay attention. You know? Give me some more wood. They need an hospital. I can't see anyone sick, so well, the hospital. Um... 
People, though, you are fired. Got a lot of idle people, so you know what? Yep, let's chop down some trees. Let's give you, let's give you something to do. Then I might put another store there. Yeah, we'll put it right there. Mansion's almost done. Aha! The aqueduct is done. Oh, look! No, no, they're still saying barren. Um... Oh! You see, people told me it actually makes the unfertile land fertile. I didn't realise it also gives a bonus. But does it actually make the barren land fertile? Yeah, oh, barren, receiving irrigation, land is... Oh, so it's still not as good, though. It doesn't actually change it into fertile land. It just allows it to be used. We still don't want to use the barren land. Okay, that's fine. That's what, that's actually pretty good, because I used some of the barren land here for a, for a little um, food storage. Dragon, you've got no chance. We've got ballistas everywhere right now. Yep. Yeah. Dragon, we kind of like anti dragon at the moment, so that's amazing though. That extra food's going to be awesome. Man, we have loads of extra food anyway. Um, yeah, we're doing really well in terms of just increasing our size right now. We're pretty much ready to expand just anywhere. I could put a forester here, I suppose. Too far away from the roads though. Yeah, how do I get around that? That'd be annoying to get around because of this storage where this forester is. I guess I could move him back, move the roads down, and put it here. Yeah, fine, let's do that. Goodbye. Well, that's going on. I guess we could just put down our next windmill. Because I want to put down some more houses, so just make sure we have enough food for everything. I mean, at the moment, we... Wow, 100 happiness because of the dragon kill. Oh, they think I'm an excellent ruler. Hmm. Hmm. Excellent. That's all I wanted to see. There's so many idle people as well. Let's uh, just keep on building up our walls. Yeah, we need more archer towers and stuff, so I'm going to make a couple more of these little outposts with two ballista and an archer tower. I still think the ballista are better than the archer towers. Maybe I should have more archer towers. I admit maybe that is the thing I should do, but it's not the thing I am actually going to do. Come on, cut down this tree, please. Thank you. There we are, one more forester, which is getting maximum wood still. So, they really don't need all that much space. This storage is getting way too full. I do not like that at all. Since I removed you by mistake earlier. Look at the wall though, that's looking better, isn't it? Now it's at a more normal height. We have way too much stone right now. Uh, might as well put some stone in here, then let's free it from our storage. 300 stone, please. Leave it there. We're doing fine for stone. Yes? Yes, I know about the quarries. How's food doing? Plus 119 per year. Yeah, we're doing fine for food. God, this whole area is going to be broke, though, isn't it? As soon as we're invaded. So... We want these areas free for food, so here should be the next wall. Yeah. Let's get that started at least. We have so many builders right now, it's awesome. Just look at that. It's like I ask for something to get built and a swarm appear. Oh, aqueduct. Yeah, might need to use the pier system. I don't think I can build a wall around the aqueduct. I don't, th I don't think the aqueduct builds in into a wall, so I should say. That's a potential problem. Still need more foresters though, like seriously. I, I, I might put one down here and upgrade this stockpile. Actually, yeah, we could have, we could have foresters everywhere along the outside. <clears throat> My throat's not doing particularly well today, apparently, because I am losing my voice. Oh my god, I have been recording this game for, like, twice as long as I intended. Well, that might be why. That's curious. We can build a pier here. I thought that would be a bit too, you know, into this building, but no. 
Okay. I'll make it look weird then, because I'm curious. Then we can build that there. Then the pier goes out. We just do this. Yeah. Okay. So I should actually focus now on building some new defenses, which I will put here. Defenses first, so at least we can kill the invaders. Because right now, yeah, we're, we're losing a whole farming area. And it's a huge farming area compared to what we used to have. People are still very happy. Uh, at least happier over here, because we're not getting bonuses from stuff like the town square. Yeah, I still think I'm going to destroy this castle block and add an extra well, just because if this area burns, it'll be a nightmare. How do I delete that? Aha, there we go. And then industry... Is industry is a town? Well. Well, well, well. Grinding out people's happiness. As my voice goes to potato. Could just do it like that. We could have it all the way out there. Then we have this space for some extra um, granaries. Like for one of the larger ones. Oh yeah, that might be better. No, we already have space. Uh, yeah, let's do this. Merchant! Anything special? Like rugs? No, sadly not. Any wood for sale? Nope. Well, you may as well go then. Ooh, the orchard gets double the bonus from, from the irrigation. Well, that does make sense. And it gets a bonus from all the master workers. Okay, let's do some math then, quickly. So, this per tile is 32 divided by 4, which of course is 8. Yes, 16, yep. So, per tile is 8. That's what the orchard gives. So, in this area, that would be 8 times 9, which would be 72. So, with the farms, it's 10 each, but one of them is missing. So, for the same 3 by 3 area, this is giving... Actually, no, no, because these are 12 because of this. Okay, so, pretending that... This one doesn't exist, and it was the original set. So, essentially, that's 80, then, because there's eight farms in function. That, one's, that one isn't actually giving us anything, except for the bonus. So, that's 80 versus 72. Okay, yeah, so this is definitely more efficient. And then with these, it makes it even better, because of how it's doing that, right? Maybe. Maybe. Either way, I just prefer it like this anyway, so... I'm going to add some more, because I have loads of spare workers. And I like seeing all this done. Okay, and we now have enough stone that we can continue this. Okay, I would not trust these walls, honestly, but... Maybe I should just trust our engineers. They seem to think it's going to work, so I believe them. Kind of. Do I really want to add piers all here? Kind of, yeah. All that extra space later on. I'll thank myself later, but we're probably going to lose a lot if we get attacked before I sort all this out. What do you guys think? Hmm. Too long to harvest, yeah, because this thing here is full. That's pretty much it. Oh no, the Vikings are coming. Yep, we're losing all of this. We're just now putting down the piers, and that is way too late. Uh, any idle people, please help chop down some trees. And yes, I just put a pier there because I've decided I'm going to put down a forester here. <laughs> it should work, I think. But yeah, seriously, just anyone who's spare just cut down stuff for a bit. Uh, castle you there. I hope it takes a lot at least. We're still going to lose it, but at least we'll do some killing, and then these can defend the walls still. Because they're amazing range. Mm. Yep, yeah, I know about the harvest. We're still gaining over 100 a year, though. We're doing fine. Seriously, our farming is the only reason why we're not harvesting fast enough, because our storage is full every year. It's a pretty first world problem, honestly. Oh, sire, we have too much food. A dragon has been sighted. Mm. Not now. It's like the one time I really don't want to see a dragon. Because normally, they're especially giving us a little happiness boost. 
since we killed them so effectively, but now not so much. Could just run into the blisters. Thank you. Oh, that's quick. I was expecting it to burn down this area, you know, the area with no defense, but apparently not. I really need to destroy that stone because that looks hideous. Same goes for that, actually. Okay, got some really basic defenses getting sorted. Oh, I do kind of want to finish off this wall here as well. Because they're like a pop down something to defend against the boats. Since a couple of them did finally move here, if they attack here, we do cover a good chunk of the area, but we do have a bit of a blind spot here. So a little defense area here with just a couple of ballista, since it's only going to be focusing on boats and nothing else, kind of needed. Let's put it here in the middle. Yes? Hmm. Yes, I know! But look! We have loads of food! We could actually turn these off and put them as workers, builders rather, but... Right now we're almost outpacing my material production anyway, so that doesn't really matter too much. Hmm. Yeah, that Viking raid never really occurred. Gotta be honest. Let's make it one taller so it matches the rest of the area, because that's important right now, in case that Viking attack ever does get here, that they look at our walls and go, wow, they're kind of pretty. Well, I was joking about that then, but okay, let's um, just remove what I was about to do, thank you. And I would like to Ballista Tower right now, please. We have a lot of spare people, so doing this isn't really going to slow down that. Well, actually, that bit might, so there we are. Merchant arrived! Bad timing! Bad timing! Hello, lads! There's a lot of boats. Probably just going to lose what we normally lose, honestly. I just think it's going to be a repeat of every single attack they've ever done, ever. Beds of at the boats. Hello. Oh my god. One down. Well, he just got through. Can someone kill him, please? All ogres down, and they are retreating. Wow, that was quick. Rebuild! Can I actually get through that corner? No, they can't. Seems like the ogre did, but they didn't. Oh. We lost. Nothing. Taverns are too crowded. Well, here, have a party for a while. To celebrate our victory. Also, we almost maxed out on gold again, which is nice. If I'm down to one, am I losing it still? Yes, I am. Okay, stay on two. Was that it, though? Really? Bizarre for the ballista. Okay, also, once again, really want to destroy... I know this is stronger than the... <laughs> Where did you even come from? <laughs> just this little straggler group from absolutely nowhere that just swim around getting shot to death. The Vikings here aren't the smartest, are they? They're not the smartest creatures in the world. But yeah, those um, ogres can really break down walls. I would say maybe we should just add some moats here and stuff, but I want this to be extra forester land eventually. Probably, maybe, kind of, sort of, perhaps. Now, you can be deleted, sorry, because I want the larger. Oh, look, all the food's there. That's cool. I want the larger one. There we are. Where's the main door? That's better. That's not usable stone, is it? Oh, it's unusable. For a second I thought it was usable, and I was like, oh my god, we've been ignoring that this entire time? I 
Okay, well with that, I'm all out of time for today's video. In fact, I've been out of time for the last hour or so. So thank you so much for watching. If you have enjoyed, then of course, likes, favorites, shares, comments, all that good stuff helps out me, helps out the channel, and most importantly, shows that Kingdoms and Castles is a series you wish to see continued in the future, now with less smoke detector in the background going beep. Thank you for watching, and goodbye. Physics, everyone. Thank you.